Hi, uh, and welcome to English with Malik. I hope you all are doing well and you all are learning and improving a lot from the lessons that I am helping for you. Well, uh, our today's lesson is all about future continuous. Future continuous, as the name suggests, is about something that will be happening in the future at a certain time. Okay? Like uh, present continuous is talking about now at this moment. Past continuous talks about something that was in the continuous form in the motion in the past. And the future is something that will be happening at a particular or a specific time. For instance, you say that I will be meeting early tomorrow morning okay i will be meeting ali tomorrow morning okay uh, if you want to mention some time you can mention some time like you can say i will be meeting ali tomorrow morning uh, at 10 okay so uh, some specific time can come there as well well, with future uh, tenses, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, the helping verb, okay? So, if it is I, or you, or we, or they, or he, or she, or it, or one individual, or two people, it will be the same, okay? And uh, like I told you also in future simple and future indefinite, that sometime some people think that uh, I and we shall will be used with them. So uh, don't fight with them. It used to happen. In the past, people used it a lot but not, you know, in, in the modern English. So, we just simply use will with all of these subjects. The negative is will not be, okay? So, I will not be meeting Ali tomorrow morning. You will not be meeting Ali tomorrow morning. We will not be meeting Ali tomorrow morning. They will not. He will not. She will not. It will not. Tim and Tom or Tim only will not, okay? The negative is won't. So, I won't be meeting, uh, they won't be meeting, she won't be meeting, he won't be meeting, it won't be meeting, Tim and Tom won't be meeting early tomorrow morning. And what do we do with person? We take out this will. We say, will I, will you, will we, will they, will he, Will she, will it, will Tim, and will Tom and Tim be meeting early tomorrow? Okay, this is what we'll do. And a question mark, of course, when you're making a question, Put a question mark. A lot of the students make this mistake, especially when they're writing, that they don't put a question mark after the question. Well, uh, if, for example, you have written, will I uh, be meeting Tim tomorrow? Uh, will I be meeting Ali tomorrow morning? And you don't put a question mark, that will be a problem of punctuation. And if you, you are doing it in the examination, uh, there might be a problem in your marks. So, will I be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will he be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will they be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will it be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will she be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will he be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will Tom and Tim be meeting Ali tomorrow? Will Tim be, will be meeting Ali tomorrow? And answer could be, yes, Tom will. Or no, Tom won't. Okay, so... To sum up, I must say that future continuous is about what will be happening in the future at a particular time, okay? And uh, we use all these subjects with will be and a continuous form of verb 
that is also called the progressive form or the fourth form of verb okay so uh, anything that you want to talk about that will be happening in the future use this future continuous i hope uh, this has helped you and i hope you are learning through these lessons and i hope that uh, uh, you'll improve your english a lot uh, until then bye i'll see you in the next lesson